Arnold Schwarzenegger performing Ice Ice Baby. Stop, collaborate, and listen. All of the battle, the battle of invention, something. But the how to be tightening, cloud in the harbor, filling your mind, and moving to the south, down, and down, down. Look at my team, I'm a lot of south. Do you dream of the mind as a band of battle stage, you want to chop at the hand of the Kept going in circles because the uh, the voice on my navigation is Matthew McConaughey. <laughs> Just kept saying, "Take a ride, a ride, a ride." So first of all, that's not what I said. But second of all, if you want to make a big fuss about it, they could have sang Leonard Skinner on the Titanic. It just would have sounded a little bit different. because afterwards one of these so-called Coopers approached me with a twinkle in her eye. She was a heavy smoker from Brooklyn, so she sounded just like Mark Simpson. <laughs> so this is actually, this is Al Pacino doing stand-up comedy. For some reason, he always moans and groans and plays patty cake a lot. Al Pacino doing stand-up comedy. Oh. Here we go. What do you call Jared from Subway on a small motorcycle? Mo pedophile. <laughs> this is my impersonation of the Octomom if she was a librarian. I haven't been on an actual date in forever. Last time I was on an actual date, I took a girl to go see that movie, The Dark Knight Rises, that Batman movie with Christian Bale. That was a great movie, man. I loved everything about the movie except for Batman's voice. What the hell was that shit? He sounds like my dad when I walk in on him taking a shit. Get out of here. I just ate a big block of cheese. When you have this many people in your family, there's not a lot of money to go around. We were like the poorest kids in the entire neighborhood, and everyone knew it too, because every 4th of July, I was the only kid who stood in the backyard and did this. <laughs> Wasn't the only time I used my whistling techniques. I was actually, I remember I was in middle school and I'd show up after summer, all of the other kids would have brand new sneakers and you could tell, they just sounded brand new, right? Well, I didn't want everyone to know that my sneakers were handed down from my grandpa, right? So I'd be out there on the gym floor using my whistling techniques and like this. And my friends were so impressed. They were like, wow, that was on carpet, dumbass. <laughs> Even if you guys don't like Megadeth, I'm sure that you remember hearing them on the radio. My question to you is when you would hear them on the radio, did you ever think like I did? Holy shit, these guys sound an awful lot like Popeye. Here, I'll show you what I'm talking about. <laughs> Because I don't think anyone goes to Pasadena on purpose. I think that's always an accident. 
Anybody here from Pasadena? Nobody. Good. Let's talk about those. Uh, I don't mean to pick on your town if that's where you're from. It's just that I got pulled over while I was driving through there. It probably happens to a lot of people because they're trying to get the fuck out of there. But uh, the only problem was I wasn't even speeding, so I don't even know why I got pulled over. Apparently in Pasadena, if you have all of your teeth, you look suspicious. I don't know if you guys have ever been in a room with like five or six people where no one in the room had all of their teeth in the right place and everyone's kind of talking at the same time. It's actually quite scary. Anyways, this is my Pasadena song right here. People here from Pasadena are like, this guy sucks. 